Hello and welcome to day 14 of your yoga practice. Two weeks in. Today we're going to be working our hips. We're going to be doing a little bit of balance work so a chair might be handy. Let's get started. We're starting on our backs today. And we'll take a moment to settle in. So have your knees up so your feet will be planted on the earth and just feel your back settling into your mat. Bring your knees up so your feet will be off the ground. Place your hands on your knees and we'll start with some hip circles. So just move your knees in and out to loosen the joints of your hips. It doesn't matter which direction you start, but we'll reverse whatever direction you are moving. Place your feet back on the earth, stretch your left leg long, point your toes to the ceiling, and then bring your right knee towards your chest. And just feel the stretch of your hip. Take a breath here, and then we'll switch to the other side. So straighten your right leg long, and then bring your left knee up to your chest, and you can hold on to your knee with your, your left knee with your hands. And we'll take a breath here. Now roll onto your side. First come to a seated position and then we'll come to standing. So come to mountain pose or Tadasana. Ground your feet into the earth. Slight bend to your knees. Standing up tall. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. From here, bring your arms up to the sky and we're gonna lean to the left and we're just gonna stretch here. So what we're working towards is feeling a stretch all along the right side of your body, especially in your hip area. So we'll take a couple breaths here, noticing your knees. I noticed mine were locked, so giving a little bit of a bend to give more stability. Coming up and then we'll go to the other side. So just having that lateral bend, scooping in your belly just a little bit, feeling the stretch all along your left side body, and then coming back to center. Now, if you have a chair handy, you might like to use it here. So come to a tall standing position. You could place your right hand on the chair Place most of your weight onto your right foot and you could place your left hand on your left hip. And we're just going to do some leg swings. So side to side. If you're feeling very adventurous, you could let go of the chair, and do a little balancing. And then we'll stay on the same foot and then just move forward, move the left leg forward and backwards. And then we'll switch sides. So this time placing most of your weight on your left foot and then swinging your right foot from side to side. And you decide how far to lift it not overextending, but definitely feeling the muscles working. And once again, you can go for the balance option and then we'll move forward and backwards with the right leg. So pressing forwards and backwards. And then you can set your chair off to the side and we're We'll come to a position called high lunge or crescent pose. So start with your feet about hip width distance apart, standing tall, and just slide your left leg back and come to a position where your front knee is bent, your back leg is extended, and you'll be standing on the ball of the foot of your back leg. So start with your hands on your hips 
And what we're working at is just feeling the extension in the left hip flexor. So you could bring your hands to your heart, possibly your hands up to the sky. And we'll just stay here for a breath, standing on the ball of your foot, feeling that extension in your hip. And then you can step your left foot up and we'll take a freedom breath here. Take a deep breath in, arms out and up. As you inhale, bring your hands to your heart and down to your side. So let's do the other side. So come to your mountain pose and then just slide your right foot back. And you might need to play with that foot placement. So finding a position where you're feeling balance but also feeling uh, an extension in your hip flexor, that little part of your hip right in the front. So once you've adjusted your feet, so bend your front foot, straight back leg, standing on the ball of your foot, really having a nice tall spine, and then finding a hand placement that works for you. Maybe at your hands at your heart, maybe your hands overhead. And then step your right foot up. We'll take another freedom breath, arms out and up as you inhale. And then bring your hands to your heart and down to your sides. So now we'll come onto our backs again. Slowly lowering down. And we're coming into a pose called happy baby pose. So bring your feet off the ground. Let your um, knees go wide. And if it's accessible to you, hold on to your feet with your palms. So you'll be holding on to the outside of your feet and you might need to really bend your knees in. And then you can just rock from side to side. If you can't hold on to your feet, you could just put your hands on your shins and then bring your feet down. And we're going to bring the soles of our feet together and then let your knees go wide. So if it feels too uncomfortable in your hips, you can just use the muscles of your legs to find a position where it feels where you're feeling a stretch in your hips, but not overstretching. So if this position is comfortable for you, you can stay in this position for the last part of class. If not, you could come to Shavasana or some other resting pose where you can come to stillness for the last few minutes of class. So settle in, in whatever position you've chosen, and just think about the release that you had when you were stretching your hips. Our hips are said to hold on to emotions. So sometimes having that physical release helps you to have an emotional release. So just think about some of the things that you might need to release or things that would be helpful for you to release. Maybe feelings of non-acceptance, perhaps releasing anger any resistance that you might have and just let it go. Let go of the things you might be holding on too tightly and clear the things that you've been carrying that no longer serve you. Rest here for a moment or two, just releasing and letting go. Now take a full deep inhale, expanding your belly, ribs, and chest. And then let the air go, release, and let go. When you're ready, you can press yourself onto your side and then up to a seated position. And take a moment here, draw your hands to your heart and just take a moment in gratitude. Thank yourself for taking time for self-care. Thanking yourself for sticking with two weeks of yoga every day. 
Namaste.